original plaster frames were broken, the paintings in a lot of instances were tarnished and um, damaged by overuse and so we took them all down and there were artisans who would lay them out on sawhorses and each little piece went through them all and took off all the years of decay neglect. and neglect right. and then prepared the frames, put them back up and then we installed lighting for them as well. Are these the original frames? They picked out pieces, helped, uh, Scott and I went there and went through a lot of their artwork and we helped them pick out pieces that rep truly represented New Orleans history. And this is the Creole, um, you know, very famous painting in the red headdress. And so it's a glycine that they do to um, a reproduction that they do. And we chose it here to put it in this, in this so place. So this is the re reproduction? Yes. Oh, yeah. This was the original city council chambers. We wanted to show an accurate history of the development of the city. So we started, we got the, the, these from the Historic New Orleans collection, and at the time, there was no representation of women in this building at all. No, literally, the only woman in the building was Verna Landrew, who's in Moon's painting. She was the only woman in the whole building. So we wanted to have women represented, and we wanted to have people of color represented, and we wanted to really have a full complement of artwork that people could see and feel the rich history of New Orleans. So we started with 1718 with the Andale and, and started to tell the story from the work that the historic New Orleans collection had, tell the full story of New Orleans from 1718 to 2018. I thought that was neat. They weren't playing, right? They were like they were very serious. Playing. It was like, like well, give we, us... We came to make it happen. So right. That's... That was almost 100. That was 90 years ago. Amazing. This is a, a George Doreau painting of Mardi Gras. And so, you, you know, we picked out the colors and this one to complement. It used to be pink, and so you wouldn't even notice the painting. And so now we painted it a neutral color, so it kind of um, makes the painting the, the focal point of it. Work. But this is the second half of, um, of the history of Mayer. Well, is this bust of Morial we found in the closet in the storage room downstairs, oh, right. and I think some a group of his um, supporters had had that done at, and donated it to the city, and then it just them, got put. Yeah. In. So we so we thought it was appropriate to put here oh, for that yeah. as well. Yeah, and they just unveiled yesterday. We're hoping, hoping that people will use it again and know it's here. So I was glad you came to see it because we want people to know it's here and really use it and think creatively about different ways different to use ways, it. Actually, Not just to use it for a big thousand person e event. Right. I mean, that's fine, but it's great to use it for something that's more right. intimate. I mean, is that all citizens of New Orleans will realize the beauty of this building and will come to use it again. And will come and they can use it. They don't just have to use it for big balls and parties and weddings that they're used to, but they can use it for smaller events. There's so many beautiful rooms here. It belongs to the whole, the citizens of New Orleans and we want people to use it. So I'm excited about it being, being restored so beautifully.